One cool thing about Sketchfab is that by default, it supports physically based rendering, which normally generates the most detailed and realistic texture appearances out of all the rendering methods. However, keep in mind that when you do this, you'll have to have the proper texture maps, including roughness, metalness, and ambient occlusion. If you have all of those with your model, this video will show you how you can manually assign them. Before you publish, go down into Settings and go into 3D Settings. This will open up the panel where you can manually assign your PBR texture maps to the corresponding meshes on your character. Just click on the Material tab at the top and the textures for each of your character's mesh groups will show up. Select the mesh you want from the drop-down list. In this case, I'm selecting the character's bag. I'm then going to select the base color channel and select Manage Textures so I can upload the related PBR texture maps. I'll just paste the path where I saved all my textures and then select the corresponding color map for my bag. You can see the nice detail on the bag here if we zoom in a little bit closer. Let's do the same thing for the metalness texture. Again, I'm going into the same folder, but now I'm selecting the metalness texture map. Let's do the same thing for the roughness map. And finally, for the normal map. With the normal map, you may need to deselect invert Y depending on the program you exported from. Closer to the bottom, transparency and emission should generally be off, but it's recommended to also have an ambient occlusion map for a bit more depth to your material. So let's turn that on and find the AO texture from the same path. After all that, you should have the nicest looking bag on the block. Now that the bag is done, you can continue on to the bandana. The procedure is basically the same, so I'll speed it up for you. PBR, or physically based rendering, is a method of shading and rendering that provides a more accurate representation of how light interacts with surfaces. While you can choose between the default PBR shading mode or the classic mode with diffuse and specular maps in Sketchfab, it's generally recommended to use PBR mode, since it produces better results in nearly every situation. You can also use Sketchfab's automatic PBR assignment to save a bunch of time, which I show you how to do in that video. When you're finally finished assigning all the materials, you can then preview your final results. You'll notice that we get much more physically accurate results of the material of this character, particularly on shiny leather surfaces like the vest or shoulder bag. Thanks for watching guys, and make sure you check out our tutorial on uploading zip files with PBR textures for automatic assignment.